Hey, Nation Nation, uh, we're here with Todd Snap, uh, the executive over at Stride Point. Todd, good day. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I want to compliment you. That is one of the coolest backgrounds. I, I always brag about my CNN box, and I'm still waiting yeah. for CNN to call me. Um, <laughs> they have not, but I haven't seen that, and I love pen maps, so that's really yeah. cool, man. I'll Thank you. Pen it up. But you wrote those books, right? I didn't, I didn't make this map, so. Yeah, yeah, well, that's true. Um, <laughs> well, hey, we want to play a little uh, Sir, What's Your Story? Um, and it's a good story, so why don't I just hand it over to you. Sir, what's your story with Stride Point? Then I have a couple questions. Well, sure. Well, yeah, Stride Point is actually a company that has been around for 16 years now, and we started off uh, doing um, training where we did a lot of compliance-oriented training, but because of that, we got drawn into companies and helping them do audits of their security position, specifically related to social engineering. And so we, we never were in the technology space as much as we were into low tech hacking. And so we got brought into a lot of household name companies over the years just to hack them with using social engineering and demonstrate their weakness. And so we did that and had a lot of good feedback. And then we were doing training. We were doing security awareness training. Well, we figured out in the last few years that the training, this annual compliance oriented type training is not really defending organizations against the attacks, that, that the attacks through email and phone calls and websites, it's just not working. And so we developed um, a program designed really just to build a culture of security. And so our background is in doing the audits, doing the ethical hacking, doing the security awareness training, and now we're more about trying to build cultures of awareness against security. Yeah, and, uh, and, and, and probably on that list also, and maybe I'm using different terminology as pen testing or penetration testing. So may, may, sure. maybe you said that, and I, you know, it's, it's not my primary niche. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I know enough about security to be dangerous, as they say. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, here, so we're talking about uh, relay managed security awareness. Uh, give it, give us some of the uh, d double click down into that. What's well, so on? relay was designed for the MSP community because there was a need there to be able to have a security awareness solution that had a few features that other security awareness programs don't have. So, like for example, multi-tenant, the ability to manage all the clients in one central place and manage all the billing and all the uh, subscriptions. Uh, it is a micro learning program. It's an ongoing micro learning program, which is managed. So it's not a matter of just providing a bunch of documents. It is, we manage the program. It's a you know, couple, you know, five minutes a month kind of thing and all the phishing simulations. And so Relay is called a managed security awareness program. And the whole key there is for an MSP community to be able to have um, something valuable to offer their clients with relation to security but it doesn't have a ton of overhead. And that's a lot of the feedback we got. And that's why we consider it really a, a security awareness solution designed for MSPs. So as an MSP, my, my next question is uh, a, a basic question. Um, how, how can we both make money with your solution? And, and I'm an MSP in this scenario, okay? <laughs> sure. Well, the, the first thing is by you developing a program for security awareness that actually um, builds a culture of awareness. So the first thing is to get sticky. And so have something that isn't just an annual training or isn't just a, a training course. This is a program that's ongoing. And so it's a much more appropriate part of a stack we see where it's not, it's not just a one-time thing. And that keeps this ongoing value. Um, the other side of it is that it's, since it's managed, uh, we find that there's a lot of MSPs that have to have one or more people that just manage the security awareness content or manage the doing the actual phishing simulations and all that. And so our one of our goals is just to lower that overhead and be able to say this is taken care of for you. It doesn't cost more than other security awareness, but it it doesn't require the work. And so that's another part of it. And then the other side is that we're trying to provide a ton of additional resources that we can flow through the MSP. So part of our program is to offer security resources like uh, blogs and videos and and um, white papers that can be branded by the MSP and passed on to their clients. Uh, 
and so our goal there is just really to build the value of the MSP. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. And uh, I'm going to end in with this, and and I, I guess just get your feedback. So uh, a friend uh, works uh, state of Alaska Anchorage International Airport. Um, she has uh, gone through uh, this type of training. I'm, I'm not sure who the vendor is, but you get the point. This type of training yeah. is, is, you would hope. I mean, state of Alaska and airport facilities. So I hope they're getting this kind of training. Yeah, they should. <laughs> and she's been really diligent uh, about not clicking the links and, oh, that's external email. And and my point is this, is, is in those conversations, it seems that, that's the kind of, you, you, you can train anybody all day long, but they, they have to be on board. Your, your point about the culture, any thoughts about that? Well, um, she's right that you have to be, you have to be vigilant about it. You can't just say, here's some training, here's some information. You have to not only teach them how to defend themselves, but you have to maintain this awareness. It's not the kind of thing where you can teach them once and they remember, they have to be ready at the point of attack. So the way you described it is right. People have to know not just don't click on links and emails because they're probably getting emails every day that they click on links in. They have to know which ones to click, which ones not to. They have to know what to look for. They have to know the red flags and they change all the time. They change on a monthly, weekly basis. And so this concept of building a culture is about building a community where people talk about it, where people see emails and they warn their friends. The bosses are warning their employees. And it's just really this ecosystem that you're building that doesn't take a lot of work, but it takes just an ongoing uh, program so that people know, here's the threats, here's the way the threats attack us, and here's what we do as a team to defend against it. So I think you're right that it takes ongoing vigilance to defend against it. And I lied, that wasn't my last point. Um, my <laughs> last point is now this, and, and, and this is more for the SMB Nation audience. So uh, folks, you'll you'll recall probably the best book I wrote, certainly at the time, the uh, How to Be an SMB Technology Consultant. And in this book, so this is 2003, and it's been revised a couple of times, of course, but um, in that book, I found, and, and by the way, I carried the bag back in the days, right? So I was out doing it. But what I found is managed properly training, and, and back then it was more application layer training, um, but training could contribute up to 10% of your revenue as a computer guy. Um, we didn't have the term MSP and it was largely billable hours, but you know, the old thousand dollar a day holler where you go into the, uh, the meeting room and, and the real estate employees come in for the day of training and, um, it, it could contribute a 10% additional revenue and, I, I suspect uh, you resemble that with MSPs taking advantage of your, your, your solution. Yeah, the clients are asking for it. They need it. It's not something that's, it's non-negotiable. And if you can find a way to supply it in a way that's painless and that's ongoing, then it, it only helps the, the revenue stream of the MSP. All right. Well, we're going to check back in later in the year and see how you're doing. But this is uh, exciting. And um, folks, give them a fair shake. Uh, Stride Point. So that's going to be a new logo in our community. Um, give them a look. See, give them a fair shake. And uh, Todd, keep it safe. Wash the hands and put more pins on that map. We'll do it. All right. Appreciate it.